Hello and welcome to Bonus Action Dash. My name is Jaren and this is part three of my Rule 20 Beginning Crash Course. In part one, just to recap, we added some tokens to our game, um, talked about how to create some tokens, add them into the map, move them between the different layers. Uh, a token doesn't have to be a player token. You could be adding assets into your map, different little uh, trees into your, your uh, encounter map or uh, some furniture into a tavern setting, you know, a tavern map. Uh, it doesn't have to be a player token, and we talked about why you'd want to move those to different layers. We added some maps. We did add some maps because we need to have something to add those tokens to. And we talked about uh, sometimes you find a map on the internet that looks really nice, and it has a, a grid already drawn on it. Sometimes it doesn't, and we talked about the different things that you need to do in order to resize them so that they will function correctly with the built-in Roll20 grid. We did briefly talk about the player journal as well. In part two, we took a look at adding some dynamic lighting to those maps so that when your players move the tokens around, everything shifts and changes and the lighting looks a little bit more immersive for them. We talked about different wall styles, um, what you might use those different wall styles for. And we also took a look at some new-ish features to Roll20, the windows and doors, and how those were different, how they worked, how they were similar. And then now in part three, we've come all the way to the end. This will probably be the shortest video of the three, but we're talking about adding music to your campaign with the jukebox tab, the ju jukebox tool over on the right hand side. Now, um, there are obviously a bunch of different ways to add music to your game. If you're running it on uh, Discord, there's tools on Discord to do that. Um, obviously running in person is much easier. But we are just talking about Roll20, so we're going to focus on here. And uh, obviously mine might look a little different than yours. Just to remind you, I am using the VTT Enhancement Suite plugin for Firefox. Gives you a lot of nice things to, uh, to work with and make your life easier. But we're not going to be looking at this today. We're just looking at the built-in native Roll20 features. So we click on the Jukebox tab. We click on Manage Audio. Uh, by the way, anything that we create and add to the game is going to, going to appear down here. So as we start making some playlists, those will start uh, appearing here. And anytime we add audio to the game, it's going to appear in this section here. But we have nothing so far, so there's nothing listed. Let's click Manage Audio. It's going to bring up this window. And there are two different little uh, things to toggle in in between playlists and tracks. But primarily going to be focusing on tracks. So let's click over to that. Um, now, as you can see, there's a lot of things that are already populated in here. This is a list of anything that I have added into a campaign in my account. So it's it's shared across all your accounts, kind of like um, the art library tab, anything that you upload to the game, anything you, you drag into a game or uh, have uploaded in some other means in your art library across campaigns will appear here. Uh, similarly to the jukebox, Anything that I've uploaded is going to appear in this tracks tab here. So these are all things that I have added into other campaigns. I don't have anything to this one currently. We can uh, add it to the game just by clicking add to and then click on, you know, add to game. Um, anything that you've already added in, but we're going to pretend like we don't have anything yet. So you could do that by clicking and dragging onto this little um, dotted line box here or click and upload. We also have three third-party external websites that Roll20 must have some partnership with that they can pull from. Um, maybe you even used some of these in the past. There's Tabletop Audio, Battle Bards, and Incomptech. They all kind of have their unique flavor. Um, so search around, try them out. Um, you can play any one of these tracks just by clicking the play button here. And as you can see, they all have different tags. Uh, they have their own unique tags I would assume that those are built into the third-party app itself. Um, so when you're going through here, you can uh, type and filter by these built-in tags. Or if there's a specific track that you're searching for, you can just type that in and it'll search by name as well. Um, they all kind of have their unique flavor, so you have to go and click through and try them out. Uh, I'm not going to click the play button here because the default is in this function. It's going to play it at max volume and I've already tested it out. This is just going to blast out my microphone volume. So I'm going to, I'm going to play some stuff once I start adding it into the game, but that's three different ways that you can add, uh, some sounds into your game. Um, I'm going to actually start with some things that I already have because I'm familiar with these and I know where they are. So let's add in, this is a good track here. So I'll click and add. Um, let's also, yeah, this will be fine. Actually, actually, let's add a couple more. Let's add a couple of more. 
We'll add this in. And lastly, there's one specific I want to search for. I think this one works okay. So I'll search for more. It's a specific track. So I'm going to search for mall. Again, I'm not going to click play because it's super loud. Um, so I'll click I'll, and, I'll, and I'll explain in a second why I'm adding this. This is an ambient uh, sort of just general chatter uh, track. So once I've clicked and added these to the game, um, I'm basically done in this window. I can close this out. Uh, now, if you want uh, to just, you can just play it directly from here by clicking the play button. Um, these are not added to any playlists currently because I haven't made any. But as soon as I click play, and by the way, I can change the volume uh, of individual tracks with the slider here. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Um, that'll change individual track volume. I can also change the global volume on these settings. Uh, go over to settings, audio, and then we have the master music volume level. Um, I would probably recommend keeping it a little higher. I just have it turned down now because it, in doing some testing, having it up louder was really kind of jumping over my, my microphone volume. So I would probably recommend not touching this. Once you find a good vo master volume level, I would probably leave that alone and then adjust your tracks manually here. Um, so we can click and uh, just play these outright one at a time if we want to. It'll start playing. Now I will warn you that when you click play, whatever the title of this is and whatever the title of any of your playlists are, your players get to see that. They have their own jukebox tab. So if you don't want anything spoiled, maybe you've got a theme specific to a BBEG, for instance, Maybe you don't want to name it the BBEG's theme. Maybe you want that to be a surprise. Just be aware of that. Uh, let's make some playlists now, and there's going to be some new options once we do. So I'll make this one. We'll call it, uh, you know what? Let's call it environmental. Uh, environmental tracks. Sure. Um, now it creates this playlist. I can add these tracks to the playlist with a simple uh, click and drag. It might be hard to see. I kind of missed it here. It might be hard to see because I'm in night mode. Let's see if it's easier now. Yeah, now you can see this little hamburger grabber um, that you click and drag to put it in there. I'm going to leave it on dark mode because I, I like this view better. Uh, and now I've got some options for the playlist itself. Uh, the default is shuffle. I can click through. I can, if I, I can just click the playlist here and it's going to play all these tracks in whatever play mode I have set. Default is shuffle. I uh, click this. We can cycle through. There is simul play. Uh, play once, which will play all the tracks once and then be done. And then you can put the whole playlist on loop if you want to. This would be really good if, if you know, you've got uh, you know, half a dozen tracks that are all a couple of minutes long and you don't want to put the same track on loop for an hour of your game. You just put them in a playlist, put it on the whole playlist on loop, and then click play. Um, I'll explain in a second why you might want to use simul play, but this one is also very useful. Um, so that's another way that you can play these. Again, manually, one at a time, or you start a playlist and just kind of set it and forget it. Um, each one of these tracks also has uh, a setting. You can put the track to play on loop. So, um, for instance, if you don't want to you know, play a track and then, oh, wait, stop, let me click play again, you can loop these tracks. Uh, probably good if you can find on the internet play, if you can find some tracks that by their creation are looping tracks. You see one of them I have here is a looping track. Um, I should mention also now too, these are tracks that I paid for. Uh, I support the artist on Patreon. Music D20 uh, is the Patreon name. Um, I will say if you're going to get tracks and use them in your game, even if it's just for your home game uh, or if it's for something bigger like you're streaming a game, Please support creators, support third-party artists, support people that are trying to make this game better. They put time and hours into it. Um, the least you can do is throw them a couple bucks for their tracks. Music's not expensive. It honestly should be a lot more for all the work that goes into it and how just how good it is. Um, if you're going to use music in a game, please support those artists and uh, send them some love financially. Um, so that out of the way, I think that probably covers it for playlists. Um, I wanted to show an example why you might put a playlist on simul play. So I'm going to create another one and let's call this one uh, tavern. And I'm going to drag this shopping mall track in. Um, this one may not be the best one to use, but it's basically just a 10 minute track of some ambient, you know, shopping mall sounds. Um, just because it says shopping mall doesn't need, doesn't mean you need to make it as a shopping mall track. Uh, so I'm going to drag this into this tavern 
playlist. Let's also go back to manage audio and add in what would be a good one. It doesn't really matter uh, for the for the example. Um, let's add this in. I'll drag this one as well over to the tavern playlist. The idea, what I'm trying to accomplish here is basically create uh, layers. I want to create some, you know, some one track that's just like ambient chatter, one track that's music, and maybe if I could find more tracks, something that was like the clinking of glasses or, uh, you know, something that would I would hear in a tavern that's not music or the sound of people talking. Um, now I want to put this on simul play, and um, you'll probably have to play around with this just to adjust the, the volume levels of each track, but the idea being that when I click play now, it should sound something a little more closer to an actual tavern. Um, rather than just playing a single track and it's just music, the idea being you create this little soundscape um, for whatever setting you're in. It doesn't have to be a tavern, could be, you know, a wizard tower or uh, some creepy dungeon. You can add in some sound effects. I, I'm pretty sure one of these third party, uh, like in Comtech or Battle Bards, has some pretty good um, general sound effects. Uh, you have to go through, you probably spend a lot of time just listening to different things and seeing what you like, seeing what's going to fit the characteristic of your game. Um, now there is another way to play tracks. I like this way. I prefer this way because it gives me a lot more fine control, but let's say you had uh, a page that you knew for a fact, once you got players on there, that's your BBEG page. That's your big combat page. You know exactly what you want to play. You don't want to waste time, uh, trying to find the tracks, um, what you can do now, I'm going to, I think I should have this up. Yeah. I have this untitled blank page ready, uh, or maybe you just, you prefer, maybe prefer this, this method and don't want to have to worry about, um, playing the tracks in your game. Maybe you just want to save some time. What we can do, we can go into the settings and scroll all the way down. And we have this option for play on load. And once you click this menu, it'll show you all the tracks you have uploaded plus, or all the tracks that you have for this campaign plus any playlist you've made. So I can select an entire playlist to play on load or individual tracks. Um, or if I have something playing, I can say, when I load this page, I don't want anything playing, but also stop playing all tracks. Another thing that you can do. So you can get tracks going in, in that way as well. Um, I did want to point out a resource that I have found incredibly useful, maybe not for every campaign in every setting, um, but certainly I have used it, uh, multiple times for, for running D and D. And that is this amazing website called Freesound, freesound.org. This is a website that anything uploaded here is, uh, part of the creative commons license. Basically you can use this stuff for like non-commercial means. It's a site that I'm pretty sure, I think anybody can upload whatever they want to this, but it, mostly what I've found it useful for is for searching, um, the sounds of nature, ambient sounds, the sounds of rushing wind. You can search for literally anything on here. Um, people will just go out with their sound recorders, take a recording of it, upload it to free sound, and you use it for basically whatever you want. Um, search around. There's a lot of really great stuff. I think I've used it for like nature sounds in the past, um, but it's it's another tool for, uh, for, for adding to your game. It doesn't have to come from fantasy audio, third-party sources. You can find it wherever you want. Or if you want to get really creative... Go record some nature sounds yourself. Upload that to your game. Uh, you could you could do that if you wanted to, but I think that is probably gonna uh, wrap it up and cover it. Um, so again, it's this jukebox tab, manage audio to find your tracks. Um, you can use these third-party sources, or you can upload tracks you have already. Maybe you purchased some from Amazon. Maybe you purchased some from a third-party publisher or something on Bandcamp. Um, upload it here, and once it's uh, uploaded it, it once you drag it to here it will populate it just might take a second depending on the file size and it will always add to the bottom um, so that's how you would would find it and then once again as we did before once you add it to the game it adds by default to the very bottom into an empty playlist or not into a playlist it's outside of a playlist you'll have to uh, drag it into wherever you want it to go and as you can see, once to, once again, you can click these playlists to expand or collapse. So if you're ever unsure where a track is located, if you're if you're not sure if you actually dragged it into the thing, maybe you're dragging it around and you visually can't really tell, you can collapse the playlist and go, oops, I actually missed it. 
it's just very slightly indented, you can see here. So uh, that's probably going to do it for tracks. Um, thank you for watching this short little series. Uh, we'll have some more content, some new content coming up starting Sunday as we start a new campaign. We'll have another brand new series starting from session zero of D&D prep. Very excited. We're going to be running Spelljammer, so uh, stay tuned for that. I will hope to have that up as soon as I uh, get it recorded. So thank you for watching, and uh, I've extended the, the welcome here. So thanks for watching.